physical inventory this is our next topic so topics that we're going to cover today they are preparation for physical inventory create physical inter inventory documents enter count results and post differences performance of the physical inventory posting of a physical inventory combined steps in physical inventory physical inventory with batch input sessions and how to create and run a batch input session so we'll start with the business example first so for legal reasons and to facilitate maximum precision in mrp you need to carry out a physical inventory of the products in the sap system so that means we have an MRP system running, so MRP should know what is the accurate physical stock we have. So that means whatever stock we have for the products in SAP system should be matching with the real-time physical in, uh, stock that we have in the warehouse. So that, that's why for the MRP to have the accurate and precise calculation, we need to have an updated stock in SAP system same as the warehouse stock and second reason could be also many countries require by law that companies take a physical inventory of their material stock this physical inventory checks the material stock for the current assets shown in the company's financial management so so in most of the countries this is required by law that every company should be have their accurate stock and the value of the stock which is the company's assets from the financial point of view and most of the companies you can see they're doing a stock take at on the last day of every month okay and that's a financial requirement as well and the third reason could be it is also important for internal reasons to establish the correct stock quantities on hand Incorrect stock data leads to faulty availability figures. So that means if we have the right stock in SAP system, so that means system will be doing the availability check for the sales order in SAP SD accurately. Otherwise, we can have a wrong calculation and wrong dates will be assigned for the deliveries. So for these reasons, we every company will be uh, most of the time they're doing the uh, monthly stock take every month. And in this class today we'll see how we can do the stock take uh, in SAP system now we'll start with types of physical inventory process now we have here two types basically first is why physical inventory process okay and the second one is via batch input session so I'll be covering both of them so let's start first with physical inventory process so what happens is in this one is as you can see in the screen we have you can divide uh, the steps in three parts okay in the first part what we create is we'll be creating a inventory document so here is the next uh, first step so here we'll be creating an inventory document using mi01 transaction and in the second part we can also print the uh, document that i'll show you later on and second part will be doing the stock count will be counting the stock that we have in the warehouse okay and then we'll be entering the count in sap system third is we will analyze the difference and we'll doing the posting so three steps and we're going to do that here okay let's start so if i write down the steps here and then also i will uh, write down the document number so first step is your create physical inventory document in transaction mi01 so let me go to mi01 you can also use a menu path here somewhere here but i will directly use the transaction mi01 So here by default system will be showing you today's date and the plant and store location that you can enter here and and the, you can here you can enter the plant date and the plant count date <laughs> that means plant date means document date means if I press F1 here 
you can see <coughs> so the document date is the date on which the original document was issued so what is the issue date so you can change the date here as well so i can say for example i want to create a document today but i want to do the counting and everything say tomorrow the day after tomorrow so i can say i can put tomorrow's date okay so you can do that as well or leave it today's date here you will enter the plant and store location and here you can enter the special stock what special stock is special stock means you can only do the stock take for things like stock in transit or probably order on hand or consignment stock things like that if you leave it blank that means we considering everything and other in, in the other information session you can put a block posting block you can freeze it i'll come back to this point what what is the meaning of posting block and freeze book inventory later on and here you can enter some reference number and all that if you want so leave all these fields like that and press enter <laughs> and here we'll be entering all our codes okay for the product codes that we want to do the counting so here i can enter i can enter a couple of products here for example i will enter abc one two three four that's one product and then other i can enter abc and abc one two three and probably z demo one so I'll, I'll be using four materials here so once you have so you can enter as many products here as you want you can scroll down and once you have entered the product press enter okay i already started the activity for this one leave it this one okay so i entered z demo now so once you press enter it will hide the first four and jump to the number five and ask you to enter the next one so whenever you have done just save it or you can post it see if i can post it and system will generate a, a document pa document number at the bottom you can see the document number click on that so here is the pa document number i can note it down and i can write down here this is my document number so mi01 is to create it and mi02 to change it and mi03 to display it so if you want to change this one you can jump to mi02 and here you can enter it will remember the last number and press enter you can come back to your document here so let's see some theory as well so our first step is done which is easy <laughs> physical inventory document now from theory perspective um, a physical inventory document contains data that includes the plant and storage location where the stock is to be counted so you, you can remember that when i created the document using mi01 you can see we entered the plant and storage location and the date on which the count is to take place so i'll come back to that screen again if i go to mi01 so here you can see the dates plant and storage location the material to be counted so we already entered the material that to be counted the stock type like i said before you can you can do the stock take for um only the consignment stock things like that and the status of the item okay so that's another important thing i will show you the status of the item in a minute and the status of the pa document that means status of the item and status of the header okay the two statuses so if you go to mi02 again open the document again so here every item has a status status means whether it is counted and completed or not for example if i double click on any of the line item if i double click on first one the status here is saying not yet counted so counting is our next step so here if i write down counting okay counting or call it count same thing using mi04 transaction so it's saying that this item is not yet counted so if if one item is counted you can see it is counted here it will be saying counted so that is the item status and if you want to see the header status you can click on this little cap 